All right. This is like the third try of me trying to make this video. Hi friends. Today, I'm gonna tell you how I lost 50 pounds in six months and no, I did not do meth. My doctor actually asked me that, so I feel like I should say out loud that it wasn't drugs. I have a little book here so I can make sure to tell you guys about all of the stuff. And also, I made cookies. I mean, it goes too, because they're bomb. Mm. Cookie. Good cookie. So I've always been on the thick side, right? I weighed like 175 in high school. And um, I was like, I don't know, I've always been thick. And then out of nowhere, when I turned like 20, I just started getting super sick every day. Like every day. Like this is gonna, TMI, TMI. I literally was throwing up and had like diarrhea every single morning. Like sick as fuck, right? And I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me for the longest time. And like, I don't have medical. Who the fuck can afford medical? You know what I mean? So it's not like I was gonna go to the doctor for them to just tell me that I have IBS, which doesn't even mean anything. And I knew that's what they were gonna fucking say because everyone says that they have tummy issues. You know what I mean? So why would I do that to myself? At first, I kept it a secret from everyone. Like I didn't tell my mom, I didn't tell my partner because like, I don't know. It. I don't like to feel like a victim. I don't like people to feel sorry for me. So I just kind of like kept it to myself, you know, which now thinking back on it was like not the right thing to do at all. I definitely should have told someone. It would have made my life a whole hell of a lot easier. So after about four months of being sick every day, I finally told my husband. And then we did what's called an elimination diet. Um, if anyone <laughs> even watches this video, if you guys watch Swole Normous, he talks a lot about the elimination diet and I like really resonate with that every time he brings it up just because that was the only thing that I tried that actually made me feel better. And it's like basically an elimination diet is, I'll put his channel in the description box so you can like find it if you wanna go check it out. It's really cool. He talks about like quality food over shitty food and like all of the stuff all the things everything so fantastic and he has a cool beard which if you've seen my husband like i love beards so a plus but i did an elimination diet which basically means you cut out everything like i literally i kid you fucking not i ate tuna and vegetables every single day no rice no potatoes no noodles nothing i literally ate tuna and I made sure that on the packet of tuna it was tuna and water and salt and those were the ingredients and that was it and I ate that and celery um for a little bit and then I started introducing um I think avocado so that I was mixing it so that it was like kind of like a tuna salad but just with fresh avocados and tuna and vegetables <laughs> and then I started eating fruit again and so after about I don't know I'd say maybe like five months of eating basically nothing but tuna and rice I finally was able to start adding like potatoes and noodles and stuff because the issue was like I didn't want to just add everything because everything was making me sick I didn't know what was making me sick so the only way to figure out what my body was reacting to was to not eat anything everyone can eat tuna everyone pretty much can eat plain brown rice and everyone can eat vegetables. So that's what I ate every single day for every single meal for like four months straight. I warmed it up. Um, I learned eventually that I could have eggs too. So that was like a major milestone. Here I am now eating fucking cookies. So I, I literally ate tuna and rice and vegetables and fruit every single day for every single meal for like 
a full two months straight almost three months until i stopped being sick every day and then we slowly started adding stuff back in after i wasn't like throwing up anymore every day and we started with um i think we started with potatoes and then flour because i know that a lot of people are gluten intolerant and then after i could eat flour i was like what the fuck is this i can eat potatoes and flour so what's what's the issue i'm confused um and then we learned i could eat all vegetables um i can eat every piece of fruit i can eat peanut butter i'm allergic to legumes right so beans lentils cabbage even um all that shit makes me fucking like violently ill like i absolutely cannot eat a fucking black bean it might kill me you know what i mean um peanut butter is just fine nuts are fine i don't know if you've made it this far hi hello how are you oh sorry i thought there was someone outside but it's just a bird um i live in the woods so if there was someone outside that would be a fucking issue so after being all sick and like not feeling good and stuff um i still didn't go to the doctor but i did go to planned parenthood to get my iud taken out because it was like i had three years up and you know ugh, girl shit so um they weighed me and at my lowest i was 110 so from 175 to 110 in the course of like six months because the last time I got weighed was when I was 18 when I got my IUD put in and I was 175 and I didn't lose any weight like I think I actually got a little bit more chubby than that I think I was closer to like 180 183 around there um and then at my lowest I was 110 so and I had only been sick for like six months so whoa like something is super wrong here um but that's when I finally learned what was making me sick. And it turns out that I just can't have processed food. Like anything in a box, basically from the grocery store, anything you can just pick up and grab and like eat, it'll make me sick. So here I am. I'm 124 now. Um, I feel super healthy. I think that my body is kind of starting to equalize around this weight. Um, I don't feel all sick and, you know, like I have a little bit of meat on my bones again, so that's good. And I'm able to like build muscle and gain weight, you know, um, after I got really ill, I purposefully over ate every single day for every single meal because I just needed to see if I was, I just needed to see if I was even able to gain weight because if I could not gain any weight back, like if I just could not gain weight, then I would have to go like immediately to the fucking hospital like oh my god I don't want to die you know but um I gained a little bit of weight back and I was around like 130 I think because I was a little more plump in the tummy and I had a little bit more cushion right here but you know like I've always wanted to look a little fit and I really like that aesthetic and you know now that I'm like able to play around with my weight um, I've really been kind of enjoying that. It's kind of nice being able to like gain a little bit more weight because I want my booty to be bigger and then deciding to cut my weight so then I can like show my muscles and my butt will be all firm and whatever, you know? Um, so it's really cool being able to like play around with it and I'm really happy that I'm not sick anymore. And honestly, I really made this video because if anyone is out there and if anyone happens to even stumble across my channel and see this video, I don't know, I doubt it, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't have any friends. I'm not, like, super popular on social media or anything, but, you know, like, it's been a really, 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 really hard fucking struggle this past year and a half, almost two years. Um, and if anyone has any information for me or has gone through something similar at all or anything like help a girl out because ooh girl this sucked like honestly it fucking sucked um really what i eat now is just everything that i make at home i can have cookies i can have pizza i can have bread i can have sandwiches i make my own marinara sauce um no legumes ever absolutely never ever ever no beans even hummus no hummus at all um no beans 
no cabbage no dairy dairy is another really big one i can it's so fucking weird again i can eat tillamook butter which is just cream and salt but i cannot eat dairy gold butter or unsalted tillamook butter because in those two types of butter it's cream salt and natural flavors and they both make me violently ill but let me make does that make sense to anyone because i'm hella confused um, I can eat, oh yeah, I have, I made chocolate chip cookies, which I can have just fine, because the chocolate chips that I buy are five goddamn dollars for a bag of chocolate chips. Can I also say, why the fuck is healthy food so expensive? I'm gonna go, I'm literally gonna make an entire video about how expensive healthy food is, because I'm tired of all these fucking nutritionists talking about, oh, healthy food isn't that expensive, healthy food is affordable, to who? Where? When? What grocery stores are you guys going to? Because all the grocery stores that I go to for the food that I can eat is too expensive. Why is a bag of potato chips $6? What? That is also why I will never be vegan, because I can't eat any of the food. Oh yeah! Um, vegetable oil. I also cannot eat fucking vegetable oil. I can eat avocado oil. Some coconut oils are okay, but I don't like to test it because I'm tired of being fucking sick, so fuck coconut oil, right? Olive oils are sometimes okay if they're like the $12 bottle of olive oil, but why would I spend $12 on a bottle of olive oil and I still cannot eat fried chicken and I can eat every, every single type of avocado oil, I can eat perfectly fine. All avocado oil is fine. But it's $17. But I can have fried chicken though. So. I think I'm just gonna have to take that L, honestly. Um, but that's the end of the video. I know that I kind of just rambled at the end, but you know, if you fucking watched it that long, I don't know, people make 45 minute long videos about nothing. So this is like 10 minutes, okay? Sue me, all right? Fuck. But anyways, if you guys, watch this if anyone is watching this video no to the to my husband that i know for sure is watching this and to my mommy that i also know for sure is watching this um hi how are you guys i love you so much thank you for watching my video you too i you know shout out to you guys um to all the haters out there that are watching this video just so they can talk shit about me what's up to you bitches too eh, i'm out here making fun of myself okay yeah making a fool of myself whatever right um but yeah, if you like, if you happen to not be my husband or my mom and you enjoy these kinds of videos or you want to keep watching me on YouTube just talk about shit that I deal with, um, let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up or something to let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing it for myself and ugh, I don't want to make that much of an ass of myself on the internet, you know? So be really nice if you could help me out um subscribe sub wow fuck i fucking butchered that i'm just gonna stop talking now thanks for watching bye